Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Here we are in Autodesk 3DS Max Design 2010, and we're going to import the um, Farnsworth House model that we just exported out of Rhino. So we'll go to Import, Import, Merge. Maybe if you had uh, other other items in the scene, <clears throat> but it doesn't really matter. So I'll select my 3DS file and um, merge objects or completely replace uh, is up to you. So, um, and then convert units, I find doesn't, I'm going to convert them anyway, so it doesn't, uh, doesn't really matter. I'll say okay. And no, I'm not going to change the animation timeline. So here we are, it looks pretty good. If we go to uh, hidden line, you can see that the, uh, it, the wireframe looks, you know, very similar to what we exported, uh, if not exactly the same. So um, just to verify how big my, you know, what size it is, I'm going to click on the floor plate and then go over to utilities, this hammer, and click on measure. It says it's uh, 5 feet 6 by 2 feet by 4 inches. So no, that's not what I want, but that's about, um, that's the inch version, or a twelfth of what I want. So I'll select everything, and then I will just right click, and I'm going to scale it up 12 times uh, to do it exactly I'm just gonna click on this the little box under scale um, the dialog box and I can do just X Y or Z I'm just gonna do world 1200% type in enter okay get out of that I'm gonna go back to the, the move and uh, that's it uh, I'm gonna have to move it back you know kinda of respective to the, the world origin if I want but Otherwise, that's it. So now we are ready to start uh, getting our rendering settings going.